Hey guys, uh, welcome to Tech Brian. Uh, I wanted to go over a couple of things with you uh, in regards to reassembly on that 2024 Mercedes um, EQS. Uh, the outer handles are difficult to reinstall, okay? Uh, now, I noticed when I was looking at the handle before I installed it that it has like these self adjusting nuts, uh, similar to what you've seen uh, on, on some Mopar vehicles uh, that have. Like it's like a spacer or an, or a nut that the bolt goes into, and as the bolt is spinning, the adjuster is moving. Okay, these handles have that for some reason. So uh, you don't want to have to do the door twice. So this is what you got to do. Okay, um, first of all, make sure that before you install it that those nuts that are self-adjusting are spun all the way down, and then what you have to do is when you're installing the bolts. Uh, Number one, for one thing, the handles are hard to get into position, okay? Um, but you have to apply pressure once you get them into, into position. Apply pressure and use some type of a tool. Hopefully you have a, an air ratchet or uh, an electronic ratchet of some sort, and you can use that to tighten the bolts while you're pushing the pressure outward to keep it nice and tight. Otherwise, you will end up with a gap between the door handle, the outer door handle, and the panel, okay? And you'll see it. Not only will you see it, but when the when the when that handle recesses and it's supposed to be like relatively flush, you're going to the the customer, the owner of the car is going to see that that handle is not sitting in there correctly when it closes, okay? So, uh, you got to check your gap right away. Look at the gaps on the other side of the vehicle, make sure that you're matching those inside gaps with the door handles extended out already, okay? Uh, so that's one thing. Um, another thing I want to tell you is that as you're reassembling the door, uh, make sure that you stop before it's completely assembled. Stop and close the door and make sure the glass is aligned because the, the movable glass has a tendency of going one way or the other and you, you got to have nice, perfect, tight reveal gaps uh, to the B pillar especially, okay? So just keep an eye out for that. Um, another issue that I ran into, uh, finally, I'll just end with this, was with the rear door, and I don't know why this was, but the rear door, um, you know, when, when you open the door, the glass drops down automatically, and then when you close it, it lifts back up into its slot. Well, mine was like not aligning. It's like it, lo it lost its memory. So if you run into this, what I did was I had to... Uh, I basically opened all the way. I opened the window all the way, closed it all the way. I had to do this like probably five times. So I don't know what the sequence really is, but I must have kind of stumbled on the correct sequence for this because then it was reset and it was perfect. But what it was doing before the sequence was it was like it had that pinch sensor thing going on where when I'd roll it up all the way, it would back off too much, okay? Until, it, after, like I said, after a couple times, it, it uh, corrected itself. It gained, it got its memory back, and you know, oftentimes with Mercedes, they lose their memory. Okay, so um, I hope that this information helps you guys out. Uh, I can't think of anything else that was really challenging to to do on this vehicle, but if you're taking the lower door door moldings off, um, I ended up replacing them because it looked like it would be very difficult to clean and retape them because it's such tight tolerances. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video, you guys. Uh, once again, um, I hope that all of you already know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but if you don't, then you need to know that Jesus died for your sins on the cross and he's willing to forgive you, okay? So if you're living in sin and you think life is hopeless and, and if you've heard those words come out of your own mouth that you're headed to hell, so what does it matter anyway? I have good news for you today that Jesus Christ died for your sins on the cross and that he was buried and then three days later he rose from the dead so that you can go to heaven, you can have eternal life, if you believe in that. That's called the gospel, what I just told you. So put your faith in Jesus and get saved, okay? Get baptized into Christ. Jesus is God Almighty. Now, when I say that, if that resonates with you and you think in yourself, this is true, then you've just now heard the voice of God because Jesus said, those who hear truth hear my voice. And, you, and he'll tell you this is true what he's saying, okay? So consider giving your life to Christ. Make a change today. Sin leads to death. You don't need to go down that road. 
following Christ leads to life, okay? So God bless you guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I hope that you will take the time to give your lives to Christ before time runs out and Jesus comes back, okay? God bless you, my friends.